Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to open BIOS on uh, Toshiba Dynabook Tecra. First you need to shut down your laptop and I wouldn't do it through the um, start button and through the power button and then shut down because it doesn't shut it down fully. So what I recommend doing is first you need to know that on the left side there is a power light and now we should start just pressing on the power button right here until this power light goes off so if the screen goes off it doesn't matter still keep, uh, still keep on pressing until the light um, on the side goes fully off and then let's wait for half a minute so I'm gonna begin Okay, now the light has went off. You can see that only the uh, charging light is on and uh, we just need to wait now um, a moment and after that half a minute or 20 seconds, press on the power button and as soon as you release it, start repeatedly pressing on the F2 key until you get into BIOS. So let's press on the power button and now let's start repeatedly pressing on the F2 key on the keyboard. <clears throat> if it, when it shows the Dynabook logo, uh, it shouldn't start loading windows like with this loading circle at the bottom because if it does then it means that you just failed and need to do that again mm, and by the way maybe the mm, external keyboards may not work and also just always make sure that you have turned off your laptop by pressing and holding on the power key instead of mm, doing it through the system now I'm gonna turn the brightness down just a bit and as we can see, this is our BIOS. There is the mouse available, but I wouldn't use it. It's really inconvenient and it's better to just use the arrows to go to the left, to the right, um, up and down and everything. You can see everything here is available. Uh, also, make sure not to change the settings that you don't understand of, because if there's a setting that you just don't get, uh, and if you change it, then you may break something. And in order to exit the BIOS, um, you can click on either F10 key on the keyboard to save and exit or escape to exit without saving. Or if you just don't want to use these keys, by the way, they are listed here. So if you forget them, they are here. But you can also go to exit and select it yourself. And that's basically everything about the BIOS on this laptop. That's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.